Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. We have gotten together to bind and loose, and the whole situation would change by the next morning. Yeah. I've seen that happen several times in, in mm -hmm. walking with you. Mm -hmm. So um, um, I'd have many more stories if I used it more if you... as the solution. Oh, wow. And as the implement, implementation of his will mm. and his reign, we are to bring in his reign, not, not ours. We are the instruments of his manifestation on the earth. And uh, it's terribly exciting. If we could get, really get in the Christian life, we would, we would find it unbelievably wonderful. I bet that's why the enemy so works on us to, to keep our eyes focused on uh, the temporal and ourself. Absolutely. Because if if your eye is on yourself mm -hmm. and on the temporal circumstances, you never do see what's in it mm -hmm. because it's it's two totally different things. It's two realms. Sure enough. Totally in opposition to each other mm -hmm. and totally different. Yeah. I'm I'm doing a study, just a simple word study on binding, binding and bound. And it's amazing. The, the tares that are sown among the Christians will be bound into sheaves by the Lord, by angels, when the time comes. And there are things we are to just live with. There are things that I don't want to live with, I want to change, but I have to live with it. There are things that he doesn't bind and loose because they serve his purpose. And that's why you have to know what the king is declaring from heaven. Because... You, it, it will be futile if you bind and loose what something that is his his will. Again, it's the, the woman 19 years with the issue of blood, and then suddenly she's miraculously healed. But she had 19 years of suffering and spending all her money on doctors. Why doesn't he? Why doesn't he bind and loose? Because he has his own agenda, and that's why it's so necessary to be surrendered to the Lord's mind and a lot of the booklet is about the mind of the Lord what constitutes church under the head and because to in order to talk about this I've had to establish understanding the church and how it is the church that can do this mm -hmm. oh and uh, another place that he this real scary is when he says to the one who buried his talent, call the Lord wicked. Mm -hmm. He said, bind him and throw him into the uh, place where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. Mm. Outer Nine, darkness, yeah. Outer darkness, bind him. And sometimes the Lord binds you to, as, as Abraham did Isaac, he bound him to the to the the sacrifice mm -hmm. to the to the wood. <laughs> he bound him. And there are times when God binds you to he bound Joseph terribly in order to prepare him to rule and reign. Yeah. So there there are things that you would think should be un, unleashed and set free and they aren't. So it's an enormous thing to surrender to the mind of Christ from the heavens and implement it on, the, on this earth because it will change a lot of things and some things it won't for a while. Mm. And that we, we have to surrender to as well. Oh, this is one of my stories that I kind of repeat like Billy Graham. By the way, I have another book from someone about Billy Graham and there was a precious note in it but no name. It came from Amazon. So if you send it, please let me know. But... This is from Ian, Major Ian Thomas's ministry. And it is absolutely oh, the whole picture. It was a, a young Russian convert, young Christian. And they asked him, he had such a phenomenal life with the Lord. They 
I kept asking him what, what his secret was, and he wouldn't tell them. Finally, he said, okay, I'll tell you. When I met the Lord, he was so precious to me and so good to me, I said, I will obey whatever you want of me. I will, I will obey anything. So his testimony is, I yielded and yielded and yielded. And one day I came to see that another was living my life and mm. not me. Mm, mm, mm. But you see, John, it took yielding mm -hmm. to, the, to the will, to the mystery, to the un, unexplainable, to the frustrating. And God has his, and you know, we've, we talk about it, that one of my favorite verses is, the wrath of man shall praise him, because he is sovereign. Everything will serve him in the end. Mm. Because he is Lord. So. But that young man came to a place of power with God and power in God because he yielded and yielded and yielded and obeyed and obeyed and obeyed. He entered the weakness. Mm. He entered the weakness. Yes, yes. It's utter weakness. It's really, you know. It's a lot of weakness that you have to enter into it, but then he becomes that strength. And by weakness, you're, you're really saying you enter into having no control. None. And then he gives you the control. Sure enough. But he has to trust you like this young Russian boy. He proved that he would obey above all else. And so the Lord can trust him with his life, with God's life, I mean. I can be st strong with my opinions. I can be strong with my uh, uh, intellect to think that it needs to be a certain way because mm -hmm. this would be the perfect way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, can be, I can be strong a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And they all defeat me. Mm -hmm. And they all take me further away from him mm -hmm. because it's reliance on self. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, he he became weak and yielding. If you're yielding, you're you're yielding your strength. Mm -hmm, exactly. You're yielding your control, your strength. And you're you're losing your life. Absolutely. If your life is what you want and what you can do, then you that's what you have to lose. Mm. And he lost it and gained God. Just a beautiful testimony. And and came to a covetable because people were asking, "What do you have?" Right. Exactly. How did you get there? Tell us. And he just threw for That's a long time. Beautiful, away. right? Mm -hmm. mm. Perfect. He was manifesting God. And his explanation is perfect. He, he found God, the Lord, so precious mm. and loved him so that he agreed to obey him mm. on any, in anything. It's a scary place. Yes, it is. No control. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.